now let us discuss about two bit asynchronous or ripple up counter asynchronous counter means we have to apply clock pulse to the first flip flop output of the first flip flop will be connected as clock pulse to the second flip flop likewise output of the second flip flop will be connected as the clock pulse to the third flip flop and so on here the counter capacity is 2 bits so we need two flip flops so this is the first flip flop and this is the second flip flop in order to implement counters we must need toggle flip flop it may be either jk flip flop or t flip flop here we are using the jk flip flop jk flip flop uh, next uh, uh, here the inputs are jk uh, here we have a clock pulse this clock pulse here we have a bubble small circle this uh, small circle represents it is a negative edge or falling edge the triggering will happen at the negative edge of the clock pulse so that means the flip flop will work at negative edge the output of the first flip flop is q0 uh, so this is q0 uh, q0 acts as least significant bit output of the first flip flop that is q0 is connected as clock pulse to the second flip flop if you see here here also we have a bubble so it specifies that it is a negative edge clock pulse whereas the output of this flip flop is q1 this q1 acts as msb most significant bit we know that in jk flip flop uh, the toggle operation will work at one input so when j and k values are 1 1 then the output will be complemented uh, let the output is 1 then what will happen if the inputs are 1 1 then this output will be complemented so that means 1 will become 0 suppose if the output is 1 then what will happen the next state out this is current state output present output whereas this is next state output if the current state if the present state output is 0 then if the inputs are 1 1 then this output will be toggled so we will get 1 as the output okay uh, so that is about this diagram so we have to connect 1 to the j and k uh, here this is also called as ripple counter why because ripple means output of the one flip flop uh, here we are connecting output of one flip flop as uh, yes clock pulse to the next flip flop so that's why we can call this as a ripple counter also uh, this is also called as up counter in asynchronous we will have up counter as well as down counter up counter means it will produces the states in incremental order here what is the size of the counter 2 bits so totally we will have 2 power 2 that is nothing but 4 states so totally we will get 4 states the first state is here the here we have two flip flops so the first state is 0 0 the next state is 0 1 next state is 1 0 next state is 1 1 so this 0 0 is nothing but 0 0 1 in decimal notation is 1 1 0 means 2 1 1 means 3 so here it will asynchronous up counter produces the output sequence output states in incremental order okay so first 0 0 from 0 0 we will get 0 1 so 0 2 1 next 1 2 2 next 2 2 3 next from 3 we will go to 0 so that's why this is a up counter this counter can also be called as mod 4 2 bit asynchronous up counter why because here totally we will get four states here we have two flip flops so totally we will get four states two power two four states so that's why this can also be called as mod 4 counter also okay now let us see the waveforms uh, so here we have uh, uh, four clock pulses why because here we have four states so for each state uh, we have one clock pulse uh, so we know that every clock pulse will have two edges so this edge this edge is called as rising edge rising edge can also be called as positive edge in any clock pulse 
this down portion is called as 0 whereas this up portion top portion is called as 1 moving from 0 to 1 is called as positive edge or rising edge whereas this is nothing but 1 this portion is nothing but 0 moving from 1 to 0 this is called as negative edge or uh, falling edge so here we have uh, uh, this uh, this triggering is what this is uh, falling edge this is negative edge or falling edge so that's why here the triggering will happen the flip flop will work at the negative edge of the clock bulge okay suppose if you want to work with positive edge then what we can do is we can eliminate this bubble then uh, instead of q0 we have to take q0 complement so this q0 bar that means the complemented output of the flip flop will be connected as the clock pulse in that occasion we can eliminate the uh, falling edge instead of falling edge we can take uh, rising edge also okay uh, let us uh, draw the waveforms uh, after this we will have a truth table uh, after constructing the waveforms we have to design the truth table uh, here we have clock pulse initially uh, this clock pulse and the outputs are q1 and q0 this q1 is nothing but uh, most significant bit whereas this q0 is nothing but least significant bit initially the output is 0 0 next we have to analyze so in the next clock pulse we will get 0 1 next to 1 0 next to 1 1 so let's check whether we, we are getting that output or not yeah three clock pulses are enough so initially we are at 0 0 so three clock pulses are enough fourth one is not needed yeah so this is nothing but here we need to extend the uh, negative edge uh, form wave form next let us draw the output for uh, q0 and q1 if you see here in q0 what is the initial value of q0 and q1 initially 0 so initially q0 is 0 till we get the negative edge of the clock pulse this is nothing but negative edge of the first clock pulse likewise q1 value is also 0 so this down portion is nothing but 0 next uh, this is nothing but first clock pulse okay this negative edge is nothing but first clock pulse when we will get q0 output we will get q0 output yet the negative edge of the every clock pulse yet the falling edge of every clock pulse so whenever the falling edge of the clock pulse is triggered then the flip flop will work so this is nothing but negative edge of the first clock pulse here what are the inputs j and k are 1 1 j and k are 1 so 1 is connected to j and k so when j and k are 1 as well as the negative edge of the clock pulse is triggered then the output will be complemented output will be toggled so previously what is the output this down portion is nothing but 0 so now we will get 1 as the output so how long we will get 1 as the output till we get uh, the next negative edge of the clock pulse so this is nothing but uh, second uh, clock pulse second clock pulse negative edge so up to now we will get 1 as the output so this 0 is complemented to 1 so this is nothing but first clock pulse so what is happening so q0 is complementing so now this 0 will become 1 next when q1 will work this is nothing but q1 waveform when q1 will work q1 here the q1 output depends upon the q0 so q0 the output of the first flip flop that is nothing but q0 so q0 will supply clock pulse to the second flip flop this is negative edge negative edge clock pulse so whenever we will uh, get whenever the triggering will happen at negative edge of the q0 then we will get the output but till now we didn't we didn't get negative edge of the q0 so this is nothing but rising edge only so so this value will be zero only this value will you, this value is zero only so there is no change in q1 output so this 0 1 is nothing but what is the decimal number 1 so initially we got 0 as the output next we got 1 as the output now let us analyze about the next clock pulse so this is nothing but second clock pulse and this is nothing but negative edge negative edge rising falling edge so now the flip flop will work the output will be complemented so previously what is the value previously the value is up 1 so now what will happen this output will be complemented how long till we get the next to negative edge clock pulse 
so now the output is complemented so now we got 0 so this one will be changed to 0 now next if we observe here this is nothing but this edge is nothing but falling edge of the q0 falling edge of the q0 so this falling edge of the q0 this q0 is providing clock pulse here so now what will happen output of the q1 will be complemented so previously what is the output here previously the output is 0 let us draw a little bit below previously the output is 0 so now what will happen this output will be toggle now so this output will be toggle now so till we get the next to negative edge of the q0 clock pulse okay so now what is the output now one is the output so this zero is complemented here we have zero now this zero is complemented now this zero is becoming one okay next let us apply the next clock pulse that is third clock pulse okay third clock pulse so pre this is nothing but third clock pulse negative edge so now what will happen the output will be complemented previously what is the output zero so now what will happen it will be complemented it will become this zero will become one now so this q naught is complemented this zero will become one so next here we didn't get any negative edge here we didn't get any negative edge of the q naught this is nothing but positive edge only so now we can say that this q1 will be one only there is no change in q1 so this is one only so if you observe here this is nothing but two this is nothing but three if you observe here it is very very easy to draw the waveforms here we go here we will get q naught output at the negative edge of the every clock pulse at the negative edge of every clock pulse so first the output will be zero up to the first negative edge of the first clock pulse next during this clock pulse what is the output one next this is nothing but second clock pulse next output is zero next third clock pulse top so bottom top bottom top likewise whereas if we analyze q1 q1 is zero zero q1 is zero zero till we get till we get negative edge of the first clock pulse till we get negative edge of the q1 next next up portion in the next two clock pulses so down portion in the previous first two clock pulses so this is about uh, uh, the circuit for the two bit asynchronous ripple up counter or mod 4 counter and the waveforms and the truth table regarding the 2 bit asynchronous ripple up counter.